Hi. Oh, wow. Welcome to Bible and Cake episode two. Uh, today's cake is a carrot cake with cream cheese icing. Um, and you probably notice that it's just Martin that's eating. Sharon and I aren't eating today, but um, we were offered some cake. They're not fasting. Um, in fact, this is because they're looking after their figure, even though it's not summer anymore. You need to move in a bit. Sorry, oh, okay. See you there. So, hi, Instagram yeah. Live. Um, yeah, today is Bible and Cake. So, this is the first Instagram Live episode of Bible and Cake 2. You can find us on at Preset Min UK on both. Uh, this is just a time for us to share what's speaking to us in God's Word mm. currently and for you to ask any questions about Preset um, and materials. Questions about the team, questions about what we're doing, anything that um, you like. Sure. Well, shall I kick us off? Yeah, sure. Um, last night we began a new study using 40 Minute, um, being a disciple counting the real cost with our small group from church. And what really spoke to me last night, well, there were two things. One is when Jesus uh, called the fishermen and said, follow me. And mm -hmm. the thing that really spoke to me was the fact that he saw them. He saw them and then he called them. And said follow me and it really struck me that in the whole world of six billion people whatever it is mm -hmm. jesus sees individuals and yeah. he calls individuals to follow him mm -hmm. and so i'm just saying to you today do you know jesus have you followed him and uh, is there anybody that you can take the message to to say you need to follow jesus and uh, what the other thing that really connected with that beautifully was that jesus said and this is um, and that was, by the way, in uh, Mark, Matthew chapter 4, uh, verse is 18 and 19. And then he said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 25, it is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher. And that again really spoke to me because that is the whole purpose of us doing Bible study. Yeah. Isn't it? We yeah, want to be like to, Jesus. Yes. And we get to speak to him through his word. It's yeah. amazing. So that was what really spoke to me last night, something really simple from God's Word. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Sharon? Obviously, you shared quite a lot last time we were on air. What, did you, what have you been, what's God been speaking to you about over the weekend? Um, well, I've been studying Galatians because that's our new study in our um, work precept upon precept group. And um, there's a lot in there about the law versus the, the new covenant under Jesus. So a lot of that has been and speaking to me. But we're right at the very beginning of it. So we haven't really delved mm -hmm. deeply into it yet, so it's just more of an overview we've been doing. Right. So I'm looking forward to then getting into the meat of exactly what's going on in Galatians. And it's interesting, wasn't it, that, G uh, that Paul said, um, who has bewitched you? Why is it you're deserting him so quickly? Yeah, um, yeah there were a lot of people um, talking false gospel to the Galatians, and Paul wrote to them to say, you should be going by what I've taught you, not by what other people are telling you. Okay, so for those of you who just joined us, this isn't a study. Uh, we're just talking about what God is speaking to us through his word at the moment um, and eating some cake, uh, specifically carrot cake. Uh, so that <laughs> answers your question there. Mm, carrot cake is really, really good. Yeah, and in fact, we've got a very lovely little cafe just down the street mm. from where we, we have our offices. And so mm. Martin just felt this afternoon a need for carrot cake. So And anyway, to share Martin, with everybody, um, you know, indeed. what's going on in our So office. what's God been speaking to you about, Martin? So uh, this weekend um, I was at church um, and they were speaking about creation. Um, and after the service I went down and did my own little precept study on uh, Genesis 1 and just went through the there, markings on, um, just did the markings, like the really basic markings of like Genesis 1. It's available on our website. Um, and it just was really interesting to sort of see how God only speaks once every day. So it was really clear. So the first thing in the day, God speaks and then stops speaking. And so the, his single words create the entirety of um, creation. So it was create the land and the sea or the arms in one day. And then at the last day, he speaks twice and he's giving instructions to man about his remit, his what he's there for and what to do. And for me, um, that really spoke to me about God is sort of giving man options. He's not, so everything else is just, he created it and it was good and it was done. Whereas man, he created it, it was good. And then he gave it more, gave them more instructions of what to yes. do, which for me was like, uh, spoke about free will and the, the exciting and the sort of burden that is because it's God's instructions into the human race about what to do with their lives. And he, he gives men 
work to do. He, he didn't just, mm. it, it says elsewhere in scripture, in um, Revelation 4 verse 11, that God created man because he willed it and he created man for his glory, that he'd be glorified. But, but in, um, I think it's Genesis 1 verses 24 and 25, mm -hmm. or 24, uh, 28, so he's talking about uh, where? Okay, 28, thank you. Three for the multiply, um, care after the one. So, well, verse 26, What's certainly it? he says, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, etc. So God gives mm. man a purpose. He gives yes. them something to do, yes. a role and responsibility. And um, that's just great to know, isn't it? Yeah, massively. And I kept reading on, on to uh, talk to a bit where Noah's just come off the ark and um, where he talks more about the stewardship elements and sort of linking back where God reaffirms those similar statements with more clarity that he does. So he's talking about dominion over the... Uh, animals, and then uh, to Noah, he talks more about stewardship of right. the animals. And I thought that was a really nice recurring theme through, not nice, really pertinent recurring theme. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There's a purpose, and if you don't know that, you need to read Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, which says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And within that statement, there's that whole um, just identity of who we are. God has created this earth and he's created you so that um, you could be in relationship with him. And uh, that just fits in really neatly. Absolutely. We didn't discuss this beforehand, but it totally fits in with what yeah, I learned, definitely. that Jesus wants a relationship with you. So um, isn't that great? That really is great. Um, does anyone have any questions for us um, here? We've obviously got quite a few people live on both platforms and it'd be really great to sort of have some sort of back and forth. Any questions you have for us um, at all? If not, we're just going to keep talking about things that we enjoy. Well, in Genesis, I mm. find it interesting that God rested. Yes. And Jesus used to take himself away and rest. Yes. Because the crowds used to really tire him out and he mm. used to go off to his um, place on his own and pray and things. And there was somebody we met at Creation Fest who I spoke to, funnily enough, on the last day. Yeah. Um, and she found that she was just always busy and I try to sort of encourage her to take time out for herself, rest, mm. pray, you know, make sure that she's still on the right path that God chose for her. Don't think Absolutely. that you are just because that's what you're always doing and you're on the, you know, the... We do live in a world where it's busy, busy, busyness busy. is... Yeah, you need to yeah. take time out for yourself and you need to look after yourself. That's really interesting because it is, we do live in a world where it is, um, busyness yeah. is, is a worship to an extent and... Um, being able to stop and seeing that both part, well, two parts of the Trinity we see really obvious point where they stop and rest and they model rest and time alone yeah. as a, a way to sort of look after yourself and sort of caring for yourself. I think it's really yeah, personal, awesome. especially in the yeah. modern world. And they would they took time, or Jesus took time out to be with his father, didn't he? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's not just taking time out for yourself, it's actually taking time out yeah. to rest in the presence of God because Massively. we need to have um, that constant filling of the Holy Spirit to yes. enable us to continue to walk in a way that pleases Him and to, to be in contact and to be in, in relationship. And one of the reasons that I wanted to start doing Bible and Cake and um, showing that is just to show that Bible study is a time when you can relax, um, enjoy yourself, have a piece of cake, read the Bible, yeah. you've got it in a place that relaxes you. It doesn't have to be this work or this um, chore that you have to fit in the day, that you have to do for a certain number of hours. And I think that rebuilding a, a really strong and beautiful relationship with God's word and, and through that with God, building that deeper relationship is a really, mm -hmm. why I love precept um, method of study, because even though there is uh, studies with homework, it's not prescriptive. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, uh, there's no sort of like, if you don't read day three on day three, you're mm -hmm. going to get in trouble. You, you know, there's, the, there's something that's freeing about that that gives you that way to engage. And I think we talked about it on the last episode, yeah. that each of us three approach precept study very differently. Our Bibles look very different, although we still will use the same tools to mm. speak to yeah. God through his word. Yeah. yeah. Sean, when, when in the day do you normally spend with the Lord? Is it early in the morning, late at night, or where do you fit in your, your special time with him? Bedtime, probably. <laughs> When, when everything's quiet, when I'm on my own in my room. Um, and, and Sunday afternoons, I do my Bible mm. study because that's the quietest time in the house. Mm. Mm. And people aren't disturbing me. <laughs> mm. and, um, and obviously we do our prayers in the mornings here mm. and work just before work. 
And I think that's really important. It's finding a time mm. that actually suits mm. your family routine. And I know now our sons, our, two of our sons have left home. And, um, but when our boys were little, it was very difficult to find that special time <laughs> to be able to withdraw and just have time out to be with the Lord. And so I found myself getting up earlier and earlier so that I could just meet with the Lord um, in those quiet times because during the day it was mm. so full on. It was, it was very difficult to, but um, yeah, now I've, I'm able to spend more time. But it's, it's, there's nothing mm. prescriptive. It's about what suits you, but it's taking the, the lead from Jesus mm -hmm. who took time out to study and be with his Father Excellent. or time out to pray and be with his Father. So, yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, yeah. I, I personally have small children. Um, therefore, I don't always get the um, time, that really set time that I can, but basically I run and pray in the morning, so I run, and that time is my time where I'm completely alone and don't listen to music and I just spend time praying, listening to God while I run. Mm -hmm. um, and then during the day I fit in a Bible study when I can because my days change very often because the children and the time of life. And different work. routine. Yeah, and different routine pretty much. Every day. But it's a priority, isn't it, for it you is, to yeah. meet with the Lord? Yes. Even if you can't make it to that specific time every day, yeah. your priority is to meet with the Lord and to grow with Him. Massively. And um, I remember those days so clearly when, if I had two days the same, we called it routine. Yes. It was, <laughs> but normally it wasn't like that. Yeah. And so um, I've now got, generally, um, I've got the privilege of being able to have a regular slot first thing in the morning. That yeah. That always happens, that's but that's nice. when I take my time. So. That's good. Can read that, Sean? Yeah. Sorry. Eric says Psalm 1 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Mm. Bible study has become such a delight for me because of inductive Bible study. Thank you. Oh, that's Thank great. You. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. As always, I really appreciate your input so on Facebook, um, and it's great to be able to connect with you Absolutely. from the States and just have this sort of really see the wider family of precept coming together, yeah. and that's been a real sort of theme for us especially since Creation Fest, sort of seeing more connections globally and um, meeting with so many people on this platform and be, it's been such a blessing yeah. uh, to us as a ministry to have people share testimony for with us from yeah. across the world, people who engage with our Friday Bible study, which will be coming back in about a month. Yes, 13th of October, yeah. watch this space, we're going to be doing another live Bible study. And yeah, that's just, it's just really great. So we have mm. people who join us from Africa, people who join us from uh, Russia, we have people who join us from across the whole world in our little mm. office here and here, uh, here in, in Salisbury. Yeah. So. But yeah, I think you've just hit the nail on the head, Eric, that it's Bible study is not a drudge, it's not something that is mm. should or an ought, it's actually a delight. And the more we get to know the Lord mm. and the more that we begin to engage and hear Him speak to us, you know, it creates that hunger within us to mm. want to know more and to meet with Him more. So, um, yeah, thank you for that. Mark, very pertinent question. This is a really nice carrot cake um, with cream cheese icing. It has a hint of cinnamon, which really brings out the carrotiness, um, and there's just the right amount of uh, cream cheese, which is all the cream cheese. If that's yeah. in the spiritual, that is spiritual, I think it is. Well, Mark asked, and it was the, it was the first proper question, so I thought it was oh, very right. uh, yes. important. Um, yeah. Yeah. And Eric, I think there's another question. Or yeah, he says he's got a nine year old, a seven year old, and a four year old, and he has to be intentional about mm. seeking quiet time with yes. the Lord. Massively. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. And also, I don't think we can fully understand just the example that we are to mm. our younger children. Mm. If they don't understand necessarily what we're doing, but they see us making that time Massively. for the Lord, whether it's taking a, a just time just to silently pray before a meal, because we may be living with non-Christians in our yeah. household, we may not be able to have mm. that mm. overt family time. Massively. But actually, it, our children will see when we are intentional about building our relationship with the Lord, yes. and um, they will remember that in years to come. Yeah, I'm always shocked yeah. at how often my children will pick up on something that I haven't taught them, but I've shown them, yeah. uh, whether that's good or bad. Yes. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. As you say, it's just about uh, being there and showing them your discipline, your uh, desire to connect with God, mm. and your passion, like how much you enjoy doing that or yeah. not. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Well, guys, it's been absolutely brilliant sharing this cake with you. Um, and whenever we fancy it, we'll do another episode. Uh, if you have any questions, um, uh, we'll ask them in the comments and we'll get back to you. And we just will be just praying that you continue your relationship with the Lord and actually you um, just take delight in studying his word and get to know him better. So thank you for joining us today. Thanks very thank much. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.